Hey guys, welcome back to the Minecraft video, and today's video is going to be on how Chainmail Gear is actually good in Bed Wars when other people say it's not, so let's just hop right into it. So, my last, uh, I just recorded a video on Chainmail, Chainmail Gear, and uh, I forgot to press the record button, so I'm feeling pretty depressed right now, because that was a really good game. Bow Spammer and everything. His mom shut off his internet and he disconnected right as I pearled to him. It was, it was great. Um, but yeah, in this video I'm going to be telling you why chainmail is good. And I'm only going to be using chainmail and, of course, an iron sword. Because if you're not buying if you're not going to buy iron gear that's only an armor bar better, buy an iron sword and a gapple if you have ten. That is literally my strat. And so lower doubles. In threes and fours... I would suggest buying iron gear because that's going to be most beneficial in every PvP fight. But in this case, you're going to want to spend all your gold on iron sword. And I know everyone's going to hate me for it, but I don't. I don't care. So uh, we're going to rush the first base, which is Aqua. He's a 13 star, and this server sucks. Chainmail gear. I'm going to give you guys a reason why chainmail gear is so good. Chainmail gear. People say that, oh, you could just save up for iron gear, which is a true fact. You can. But usually if you don't buy chainmail gear, you'll have problems later on uh, with the game, and it'll go longer. If you like longer games, definitely go for iron gear, but if you're going to go for fast, quick games, you're going to want to go with chainmail and iron sword. What you're going to want to do when you have this the chainmail gear, because this is a tutorial, I'll have to give up. Sorry, I'm just focusing because I can't bridge right now. So chainmail gear is it's interesting. It's only good. Chainmail gear is only good if you can do two different things. If... <laughs> Stop laughing at me, you nerd. You're just gonna die in the next rush. So, the thing is with Chainmail and Iron Sword, if you buy upgrades, it is the most overpowered armor, I think, in the game. Because, for one, people have the mentality of thinking that you have, like, you're bad because you buy Iron Gear. Which, I have enough for Iron Gear, but you know what? You mad? Yep, I know. I can just, I can already tell I'm mad you are, because I could buy an iron, iron Gear and a Gapple there, and I did not. But let me tell you, if you're in a situation where you're constantly being rushed, you don't have enough time to get gold, this is a good solution. And it's, you shouldn't hate on it. And this guy's getting railed, okay. Fly, prop. Let's go in this guy's generator. Kill him. Eat a gapple and realize that the gen is way too slow. Deposit the gift. Yeah, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him do the work. For it, bud. I don't want to pick. You don't want to pick either. Are you serious? This is unfortunate. I feel bad. This is not crossing at all. I, I waited for him to go by. I can't even see him, bro. I literally can't see half the things I see. Anyway. So, I just want the hate on Iron Gear to stop, because Iron Gear is not for bad players. Like, see? This guy has an Iron Sword and normal gear. That's a problem. If he was to buy Chain, he could have won this there. But he didn't. So. And he lost because of it. And this guy is also another mistake because he has gaps and iron gear, which he just has iron. Gold. Makes sense, but. This is just me hating on iron gear the entire video. Okay. Nice. You should put that in your montage. Oh, I'm glad to not get well trapped there. That would have sucked. So, 
So here we go, we're gonna clutch, and since I have enough, I'm gonna buy Iron Gear. I, because it's, it is late game, it's not early game. See, when I was killing the green and the aqua there, I was bought chain because I couldn't afford iron, so I bought chain. So that'd be the reasonable thing, but people think that they should just save their gold and then buy and buy it right after, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Bed Wars players don't make sense, literally. So, who killed me? Wait, what? Gray. How in the frick did he get over there? He had the TNT jump. Right? What? Wait, is he... F no, he's TNT jumping. But yeah, that's mostly it for today's video. I, I mean... Really, I just don't want... Like, I, I just want to get awareness out there that iron... That, uh... Chain gear isn't that bad. And that I can win every single game with chain gear. Like, it's just, it's, it's interesting how white Bad Wars players think that, that it actually, like, it's like a sin to buy Iron Gear or something, or Chain Gear. I get them both confused up, because they're both good, but some people think that one is better than the other. I was about to be so mad if that didn't land. Are you serious? Oh. Well, that's a, a weird ending. Uh, I hope you guys took, like, consideration out of this and why you should, like, why Iron Gear isn't that bad. Because, just to sum it up for you people that are still here listening to this video, because people leave usually the first two or three minutes because they're like, we, we like our iron gear, we're gonna save up for it. But in conclusion, basically, buying iron gear, uh, chainmail gear at the beginning of the game, is really beneficial to ending the game sooner. And that, that's enough for me. See you guys.